Good morning, you happy people. How are you this morning? Well, it's a rainy morning in Georgetown. It's early Sunday morning and I'm heading up to the Pleasance Market. You know, a few of you guys asked me to make a sauce, which is a Guyanese dish. So I'm heading down to the market today to pick up some of the ingredients. Today is Sunday, so we have markets like Pleasance Market or La Penitence Market. So I'm heading down to the Pleasance Market to get my stuff, my ingredients. So I hope you guys are going to church this morning. It's Sunday. For those of you who don't go to church like me, as often as possible, I hope you guys are having some some plans. Maybe going down to the creek today, or you know, uh, uh, some wedding, or maybe some picnic. Whatever it is, man. Just just enjoy the day, okay? So join me, guys. Let's go down to the market and do some shopping. You know, many guys let their wives do the shopping, you know? They're afraid or ashamed to do the shopping. But you guys, hey, come on, man. Shopping is fun. Not only ladies do shopping. Let us assist the ladies. So this is what it looks like in Guyana when it rains. Yeah, this is shrimps man and fish man. What the car there, right? Alright my friend, what you oh you got some shrimpy. And what other fish you got? You got Nekli and Bango. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Just got a hustle all the time. You also, yeah. So you selling at Pleasant Market only? Yeah. All right. You 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 right house uh, house to house and sell. Yeah. Nice, nice. Where's your name, man? Sorry. Sorry. So you yeah. check out this man here for your shrimps and fish. All right. Yeah, yeah brother. Have a good day. Yeah, man. Yeah. So this is what the Pleasance Market looks like. It's raining today. Yeah, it's raining today, man. The vendors got to cover their stands. Yeah, alright. Alright, so here I'm walking through the Pleasant Market. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so all the vendors are braving the rain, even the, the shoppers are going sh walking through the rain, including myself. Board pepper man. <laughs> yes, yes. Board pepper man. <laughs> yeah man. So this market as far as you can see is market. And of course the rain is drizzling but the sun is trying to come out there, which is a good thing. So I'm giving an actual tour of the market today. So this is yeah, this is a really big market too as well. If you measure the distance on the road and compile it, it's most probably as big as Monrepo's. Yeah, buddy. So we have all the different things sells here. Yeah, what? You know, it's not a normal thing for Guyanese to see a man walking through the market with a camera, you know. With all these fresh seasoned herbs here in this market. So I gotta make a stop somewhere and pick up my kikimbo and my shallot and my lemon and my chicken foot to make my sauce
So there's a, a lot of vendors here in this market. The market is growing larger and larger. I can remember in the days I used to come to this market when I used to live on the east side. It never used to have so much vendors as they are today. But there are a lot more vendors now. So on Sundays, this piece of the road. Yeah, my brother. Now this brother will help me. <laughs> yeah, this. Now one man is saying, I gotta pay to make the video. <laughs> so this is how Guyanese are thinking. It's not a normal thing for a man to walk down the road with a camera. People are a little bit paranoid having their photos taken. Some of them demanding money, thinking I'm making a movie. Oh, there's a chicken foot here. You got chicken foot? No chicken foot, huh? Alright, so back in the, the late 90s, 2000, when I was a mechanic, I used to hang out on the Pleasance line top by the Guinness bar. So I, I am familiar with this neighborhood here. I, see, I have a good friend on the line top, my friend Bubbles, him and I were schoolmates. Yeah, yeah, this man said, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, Bubbles and I were schoolmates, you know. We used to hang out on the top of Pleasant's here, lined up. I'm there, right? Yeah, brother, what's up? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so you have all these stands. So I'm looking for some chicken. So this right here is the Pleasant's line. The Guinness bar is right over here. In Grits bar, then you have the Guinness bar. Have all the meats over that side. This is the this is the Victoria Road I'm at here, the junction of Victoria Road. Through this road I remember there is an orphanage there, the St. John's Bosco Orphanage. And I used to be liming down this road here. Bubbles live right on the corner there. We used to have it in Pleasant's back in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can get all the, all the assortment of fruits, vegetables. Yeah, my man. Everything here. So everything. <laughs> YouTube! So all these vegetables you can get. All the fruits, everything you want in this market. Yeah, brother. What are you selling, man? Sapodillo. How much your pasta is sapodillo? Yeah, 300. That's why you're going good. All right. I'm going to pass back and pick up two parcels, all right? Yeah. Okay, brother. Thank you. Chicken foot. Where do I find chicken foot in this market? So, all this year now we're entering into, heading up almost into Better Hope, or the market still continue onto this part here. It's raining, and I gotta walk through all this rain just to make this fit. I hope my camera don't get spoiled by the end of this recording. So as far as you can see down the end there is market. The sun is shining and the rain is falling as well. So miracles are happening. Alright, so this is where I'm gonna turn back and go pick up my few things in the market. So here I'm getting my chicken foot from this man here. Make sure to check him out. He's right in front of the main gate on the Pleasant's Market. 
Now right there at the back, this is the market. Yeah. We have the roadside markets here on Sundays. So the, the rain stopped falling. And the shoppers are back. This place is going to come to life again. It's going to get busy. Very busy. So that's the market that's the market out there but it's a one-way on Sunday so in order for me to go up the East Coast I have to go through the village of Pleasant so I'll take this opportunity in Fidjo in parts of the village no. that's a beautiful house right there I'm going through the village of Pleasant at the back. Then I'm going to make a left in this street here. You know, these streets are really, really fine, narrow. But hey, hope one day, you know, these streets can be developed. I know some of y'all might be living in the village of Pleasance and migrated, so here you have a first hand look of what your community was looking like. So then you make a left and then you make a right again. This neighborhood has definitely improved from back when I used to hang out in this neighborhood. Most of the houses are renovated, looking beautiful. Unfortunately, my SIM card and my camera is full. So I have to use my phone now to vlog. So I had to change over for a moment there. All right, so I'm still in the village of Pleasance. I'm gonna make a left on this road. This is the border between Better Hope and Pleasance. Okay. If you go through that road, that's better hope you I'm gonna hit enter but since I'm doing Pleasance I'm gonna go to this street which borders the two villages This is the railway line top. That's to head up on the east side, the east coast. And this right there, it's the market. Now you can drive from east to west. 
It's a one way on Sundays during the market hours. But I'm not gonna drive through that market. It's gonna take me a long, long time. So I'm gonna go through this road. I think this is Prince William Street here. I've got a good friend that also lives in this street, Mr. Zinn, who lives at the head of the street there. I also had some school friends in the Victoria Road. My good friend Miguel and his sister, Mariette. Now we were all schoolmates back in the days, in the early days of my childhood, my boyhood. Now these are some beautiful houses here in Pleasance, you know. So Guyana is on the rise, man. We got some big mansions going up, big houses, you know. Copying, sell books, stationery, a good friend of mine, Zin. Check this guy out, he's on Prince William Street in Pleasance. So, guys, okay, so I'm in Mon Repose now. A friend of mine, Gulu, is somewhere in this village. He called me and told me he's in, he's passing through my neighborhood but unfortunately i'm in george i am in the east coast so i told him to take the bus and get a ride up here where i can meet him so i am here picking up my schoolmate and him and i came, went to school together back in the 80s nursery and primary we actually born one day apart his mom and my mom were in the hospital at the same time we're from the same village and there I saw him. He's a tall man. He's by Uncle Ganesh. Um, chicken stand there. So this is what life is all about. Hey. Oh, look, look. Good morning, good morning. Uncle Ganesh? This, this by your friend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucky oh, thanks, man. One deal, telephone. <laughs> <laughs> real thing, real thing. Take care, right? Yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't know, but take care. Yeah. So, Gulu. Mm -hmm. Morning, brother. How Morning. Well, then, uh, try, man. So, I pick up my friend Gulu, then I have to go to my other good friend, Captain David. Called me this morning at 6 30, telling me, bro, my boat and I came into dock and uh, we were selling, and I got you some fish. He got me some salmon, so, and for free. So I'm gonna go pick that up, all right? So I'm heading here now to Captain David's house in Monrepose. This is my Captain David, right? Now look, this is what the man catch on the boat and bring for me this morning. Well, it's six o'clock this man called me, wake me up. So we collect this fish. So here we are, picking up some nice, and this is wild caught. This is not what you get in America, the farm race. This is wild caught, he caught them in the Atlantic Ocean. All right, fresh as it can be. So, look at this, y'all. Look at this surprise. I come collect two fish by my partner here, hey? Captain David. And my friend Golo, we just reached on the road there, watch. This man bring out a bottle of Black Label. I didn't even have a cup of tea yet this morning, but I drink in a shot of Black Label. <laughs> so this is what friendship is all about. You understand? Me and this man are friends for like 15 years. We were once neighbors. Guy used to live in this Monrepo. And there's your wife over there, Andy Polly. Say hi, Andy Polly. So this is the life in the countryside, y'all. This is Mon Repose. Sunday morning, this man came in yesterday. Last night he came in, right? Yeah, last night. Last night he, he, he bring the boat into dock. He sell off his fish this morning early. And we got to celebrate. So yeah. cheers, y'all. Yeah. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Same to you. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah, we back in the days, this is how we played. We play run around in the yard and jump around and do all kind of thing. No, no cell phone, no TV, no nothing. This is how you, you do it back in the days. So, this is how we do it, y'all. Country style. My friend is a boat, is a fisherman, is a, is a boat captain. This is wife and Auntie Polly. Look, she chunk, she's frying the, the garlic and the jira. To show in the dal, she make dal rice and pork curry, right? And here it goes now, right into the pot now. So you chunk in the dal now, you throw it in there in the dal and you puff it down quick. So hey y'all, this is the finished product. We last time we pour curry and we dal and rice. Hey guys, so I'm back in the kitchen and I'm about to start making my sauce. So here I have my fresh seasoning, I have my shallot, my pepper, my garlic, my fine thyme. I got my onions and I got my lime and three cubes, chicken cubes. And I got some vinegar. So I'm getting some assistance from Chef Alicia. Who is cutting up the herbs and cutting up the onions and all the pepper and the garlic. You know, she's a great help, y'all. So I am recording while she is doing the preparation for the seasoning. So I'm going to mix all of this up and let them fall in love in my sauce. So hey, y'all. So you guys, some of you guys always wanted me to make a sauce. My wife was helping me because I went fishing, so now I'm back in the kitchen. So she already, she already put vinegar, water, and the chicken foot to boil. Now I'm adding cubes, three cubes. I have some fine thyme. I have some garlic here, which I'm gonna add right now. Then I'm going to stir that up, let that sit and boil. I'm going to add some pepper and let them fall in love. So now I'm adding my water with my black pepper. I'm going to mix that up. Now I'm going to add my scallions followed by my onions. And I'm going to add my cucumbers. After adding all this in this bowl, I'm going to mix them all up. And let them fall in love with each other. Then I'm going to add them into my sauce. And this y'all right there, it's the final touch of my sauce. Now look at that love potion y'all. So it's time to go eating. So this one I'm talking about y'all. Look at my sauce. So I got help on this one. My wife started it. I helped and then she finished it. So it smells good. It looks good. Now I'm going to tell you how it is. This tastes amazing. This reminds me of my boyhood days on Pleasant's like that. When we used to go and buy sauce. This tastes like awesome. So guys, there, there you had it. You all wanted to see me make sauce. With the help of my wife. The love of my life. We've made it. And here it is. It's amazing. If you like this video please give us the thumbs up you can please share this video as well if it's the first time you're looking at this channel kindly consider subscribing hit that notification bell because i have tons of video that i'm going to upload shortly remember y'all this is life this is our life this is how we live i hope you're having a great evening because we are I love you and from Georgetown, 
we are gone.